Welcome you all to Cell Ingest and today I come with a very important topic in awareness for endometriosis. So you will be thinking what is this? Yes, an expert is going to talk to you about it from Aster, Dr. Manoj. So this is something that happening to women at any age and we are not consulting the doctor by thinking that it is the pain from menstrual cycle or it may be due to the pain from the intercourse or it may be the pain during the ov ovulation time. So this is like an iceberg, but this leads to a big complication that is the infertility. As infertility is very common, awareness about endometriosis is also important. So stay tuned with me to watch more about endometriosis from an expert. First of all, I would like to thank you so much for giving an opportunity to prepare an awareness on endometriosis because uh, infertility is prevailing a lot and one of the reasons for infertility is this endometriosis which is not known to most of the women. So thank you so much, doctor. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, well, endometriosis is, uh, like you said, is uh, quite a common condition. But unfortunately, women are not much aware of it and not seeking help because it's an iceberg, not just in this part of the world, but it's a pro it's a global problem. Because what happens is like women have pain during their periods and it's kind of understood like women have to bear the pain through their life. But unfortunately, endometriosis do present with pain as a problem. Okay. So a lot of women have issues with endometriosis and that's why it's not seen very commonly but okay. this is why this awareness is quite important that's really i even when i was going through that i realized that most of the women think that it may be a pain during the ovulation or a pain during that's the right. menstrual cycle or it can be a pain during after uh, the coitus or mm -hmm. sexual uh, intercourse so that's why no one is consulting the doctor. So can you let me know what is exactly in a simple layman's language, what is endometriosis? Endometriosis is such that uh, like the lining of the inside of the uterus is normally only present within inside the lining of the uterus. And in women with endometriosis, this lining is also seen outside the uterus, like inside the peritoneum, like the cavity inside the abdomen, next to the ovaries or around the tubes, around the bowel and bladder. And this can also sometimes cause bleed and can cause pain as a symptom. Sometimes they can form a cyst in the ovary. And all these things put together can cause a lot of pain. And that's why women present with most of the time with pain symptoms with endometriosis. Okay. So from this, I realized that always the pain should not be neglected. So that's right. what is the time like a woman should approach a doctor? Well, uh, women of all reproductive age is affected by endometriosis. So what happens in uh, women once they start their menarche, when the period starts, until the period stops or even after that, women may get affected. So why does endometriosis affect some women and why it doesn't affect every other women is a difficult thing to answer. But whenever women are troubled with period pains, that is when they need to start going to see their doctor. So especially when their pain is much more pronounced, not just with periods, it could be related even outside the periods, or there are pain, like you said, uh, pain with intercourse is a kind of a presenting symptoms. Sometimes when they are opening their bowels during the periods, they may have also got pain. So these are all pain related symptoms women may have. And the pelvic pain is sometimes attributed just pain due to periods and women go suffering in silence. So that is what we are trying to make people aware of. So it's really a good message that the pain should not be neglected. You should That's seek right. the doctor's advice if you feel it is really uh, persisting or it's right. uh, not a, it's away from the uh, something away from the dysmenorrhea. Also, they should consult the doctor. Yes. Right? Uh, because like like you said, dysmenorrhea mm -hmm. is attributed to pain during periods. But how do you differentiate whether it is not endometriosis? Because if the dysmenorrhea is out of proportion, then all women are having really troublesome with the pain that they are not coping with their periods. That is the time they should be seeking help. Okay. That's a good message. Uh, doctor, then uh, what is the diagnosis, diagnostic techniques we are using to identify this is really an endometriosis? 
So there are lots of things. The first and foremost thing is I would say is go and see a gynecologist mm -hmm. because let the gynecologist assess you, understand your symptoms, uh, examine you because there are lots of findings to be correlated from your clinical symptoms and examination. And then we go through a lot of because depending upon the examination, if you have like a cyst or something suspicious, then doing an imaging like an ultrasound scan or those kind of tests like uh, would be helpful to come to a conclusion whether this may be related with endometriosis. But sometimes to make a conclusive diagnosis, women may have to undergo like a laparoscope or something to have a look inside to see what are the sites and what are the causes of the pain because one is diagnosing and also treating at the same time. So it depends again on the intensity of the disease and how much they are affected. So okay. tests are varied but it depends upon each individual assessments and sometimes it depends like you said from the beginning pain is not just the factor because fertility is another bigger issue yes. so women who are having pain and fertility issues and if they are not falling pregnant then in such situations they should be looking into like having a go inside and having a look with a laparoscope to see is this truly an endometriosis and if that is something which is preventing their fertility then doing tests to identify and treat and that might help their resolve their fertility issues also. Okay. So, Doctor, always the symptoms will be the pain uh, for the endometriosis. Like, uh, because the main problem is the woman will understand that she's having endometriosis only the later stage. Uh, right. When they have infertility or then mm -hmm. when they have severe severe bleeding, then only they will be consulting the doctor. So what is like uh, only the pain is the symptoms for them to distinguish it? Uh, no, not just the pain because say when women have pain with their periods, which is like I said, which is intolerable. So sometimes this pain doesn't go away even after the periods. So the pain may persist even after the periods. So that is an ongoing chronic pain symptoms which they come into. Okay. So women with typically with chronic pelvic pain uh, have a triad that they might be having an underlying endometriosis as a problem okay. because endometriosis can sometimes present with in the pelvic organs which could be around the uterus or it could be around the tubes or around the ovaries or it could be related with the bowel sometimes between the uterus and the bowel are typical sites of endometriosis where it can cause a lot of pain as a problem okay. like i said when they're having pain with intercourse and those kind of deep disease it's called as deep endometriosis and those are kind of uh, people who may need sometimes a proper diagnosis and a proper treatment which will make them have a good quality life so getting rid of pain is a big factor okay. yeah. so doctor uh, let me know what is the complications like uh, usually it's not identified in the initial stage it goes to the severe then only they will be detecting it so what are the complications due to this like as, uh, endometriosis can sometimes present with like i said the cysts in the ovary which are called as endometrioma mm -hmm. so these endometrioma sometimes can become bigger cysts sometimes can undergo like cyst uh, related sometimes they do even i have seen women presenting with sometimes the ruptured endometriomas can cause them needing an emergency surgery mm -hmm. so sometimes they could come and present with severe pain and then they might need an undiagnosed uh, endometriosis patient may need an emergency surgery and then you are with a, having an emergency surgery and then we may not be able to sort your whole problem and then you might need a repeat surgery. So these kind of situations do happen. So women with endometriosis sometimes end up having multiple surgeries and then they are not having a resolution of symptoms because endometriosis is such an entity because they may not have a complete resolution of symptoms with one surgical or one medical treatment okay. because sometimes women may be left with the scars and pain and chronic pain can be an issue so diagnosing it early and treating it doesn't mean that they can have a complete resolution of symptoms either but however if we can resolve it and diagnose it early then it becomes useful for one is for their pain management and then we know what is if they have a fertility issue that we can manage it accordingly okay. so that is why understanding this is quite important as well okay that's good what about pcod and endometriosis is it related well pcod and endometriosis are kind of two different entities but women obviously come with saying oh, if i have pcod 
do I have an endometriosis as well? So that's a quite common question among women. But uh, these are two different disease entities as such. So it doesn't mean a woman who have PCOD will have endometriosis, endometriosis. and likewise both are not kind of related it's not to that each other. Related. Yeah. But symptoms may be similar, but relation is not there. Yeah. PCOD, obviously they come with different kind of symptom profiles, but endometriosis come, like I said, more with pain symptoms. PCOD women come with most of like the time with their weight gain and uh, like excess body hair and those kind of different symptoms as well. So symptomatology also differs as differs. well. Yeah. What about hysterectomy? The, the woman who end up with hysterectomy, one of the reasons is severe bleeding. Mm -hmm. Is it uh, related to the endometriosis which is not treated for a long time? Sometimes women who may have, uh, like I said, the, the tissues inside the lining of the uterus, sometimes are present within the muscle of the uterus is called as adenomyosis. So now adenomyosis is an entity of endometriosis which is within the body of the uterus. So sometimes these women are difficult to treat with medical or like a, a kind of minimally invasive surgical procedures yeah. or like, like the Mirena and other devices which are used to treat heavy periods mm -hmm. and these women if you don't get a proper diagnosis sometimes will end up having multiple different treatments and they eventually will end up having a hysterectomy so okay. uh, typically for endometriosis hysterectomy is not the answer mm -hmm. but unfortunately you would see a lot of women having endometriosis ending up having hysterectomy okay. but hysterectomy is not the answer for endometriosis because it is diagnosing and trying to treat the cause for the pain hysterectomy is, becomes a culprit there, but it is not the actual solution. Okay. Um, then uh, next question is, sure. uh, for young couples, mm -hmm. uh, what suggestion or what opinion or thing you want to tell to them uh, to avoid this infertility? Because infertility is very common nowadays among the young couples. So, I think one of the biggest factor with infertility is uh, people are in a rush. So one is you, you once you get married and if uh, especially I'm coming from India and I know where sometimes uh, your family and your peer pressure is there and so they say you've, you've got married and you don't have a kid so sometimes people act to these peer pressures but ideally if a, for, if a couple is attempting uh, to have a baby they should give at least a good full year of try and if they try for natural pregnancy, majority of them will achieve natural pregnancy. About more than 90% of the couple will achieve natural pregnancy. But because people don't allow this time frame is why they will end up with having investigations. And once they go into this vicious cycle of investigations and stress, it becomes more difficult for them to conceive as well. So my first advice is wait for natural pregnancy, enjoy your life, and let pregnancy happen naturally. If pregnancy is not happening in a year's time, then you may want to go and visit your fertility okay. specialist. But if it is to do with endometriosis, like say, for that is the reason I was talking about endometriosis. So if I have a patient who is diagnosed with endometriosis and if she's not falling pregnant in six months time, then in such situations, these women may need, to, shouldn't be waiting a full year, then those group of women will start to have uh, fertility treatment earlier because there is a reason for them to not fall pregnant. Okay. Uh, so, thank you so much to, uh, uh, to letting me know that what is endometriosis and what uh, what are the symptoms and when we have to approach the. Sure. So, uh, I think a uh, next part we can about the treatment we can do in the next video. Sure. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank Dr. you very much.